Okay, this is an impressive pair of vintage Red Wing Pecos that um, I found. I found these on eBay, and these are in magnificent shape. What I really like about these, and and what I would hope, like if, if Red Wing were to ever, I don't know, if they wanted to come out and remake these, this is what they should do. So I had uh, tweeted out to Red Wing, um, just, I think just asking about uh, the, the type of boot, the leather, and they responded back with a, an old a vintage, um, it's like I think an order, an order card or maybe a poster. So basically it says, meet Red Wings 3-in-1 Pecos boot. It says, now there are three contemporary finishes in this popular Pecos boot pattern. All feature a full grain leather upper and fully leather lined shaft. Shank is an inch wide steel, insole is sweat proof leather, and it says a new non-collapsible 4,000 cushion sole and heel are long wearing. So I believe these are the 1474s. Let me put my phone on this side. Although there's, uh, there's a little bit of a mystery because the, I see on the side branded nine something nine. But these, when I saw these, and then I, they arrived in person, I was thrilled. Number one, because of the condition. And you know, they have that, that old <laughs> smell to them. If you're, if you're ever in like a vintage store um, and you sm smell the clothing that has that, that scent to them. Uh, the leather on, is quite stiff. I had shoe trees in here for a while because these are actually a 9D, so they are a bit narrow, too narrow for me. I would need a nine and a half D or a nine E. So I can put them on, but my feet are uh, squished. So I could get them stretched at a cobbler um, because I think they're just really, really cool. And so I just go into like some quick details on these. What I love about these, uh, the first thing is that the, the sole is the The sole is chemi gum, which is cool. It's which I like more than a natural cork because you do have a bit of that um, grip, and the natural cork on wet grass, you're gonna slip. These will give you a little bit more grip, and I do like that the heel is stacked. Although it's not a leather stack, it is a stacked heel with the Red Wings composite that they normally use. Um, that is a plus for me compared to the newer Pecos that they make, with is just a uh, either a composite heel or it's just the nitrile cork like you saw in the 8188s. And going in, it's leather lined. That is a huge, huge plus. You're not having the fabric canvas lined. Uh, you have this leather that will allow your sweaty feet to breathe. And you know, this fully leather lined, it's just, this is what current Red Wing Pecos, I think, should look like. They should be leather lined, have a um, chemi gum sole, and they should do leather stack, but I know they, it's uh, costly, so they use this composite. Also, these are for work, so using a composite heel makes sense because if you're working and you're standing in water, um, water and mud, for hours, then having a, a composite hill makes make does make sense because it's gonna last you longer. So, um, and since it is a work boot, I understand not going with the leather. But these are so cool, and they look amazing with denim. I just uh, wish they were a bit wider for me. So the inspiration, so. Um, I found these and since I was kind of like not completely able to get my foot in there or I could wear them but not long because it was just starting to cause pain and you don't want to, as being in, in New York, you don't want to be walking around in pain because that's just not good for anybody. So my answer to that was 
um, when I had these done. I had these custom done and that was my answer. So this is, if you remember, these are the uh, Featherstone, Chestnut Featherstone. So this is the Beckman leather that I had and I had these custom made. Uh, this is with a leather stack heel, leather lined, leather sole. So this was my answer to these since I couldn't, you know, really um, recreate these totally um, or find them in my size in this such a great condition. I was like, I'll just have some made. So I, obviously I went taller and did them more of like a current um, uh, traditional uh, Western boot. So I went the standard uh, 13 inch height and these I believe are um, 10 inch. I believe they're 10 inch, yeah. Um, but I'm, and then, you know, I did my little custom with the color since I was going, I was customizing. I was like, might as well just do it up, baby. <laughs> and I've been loving these. I wear these uh, a lot. As you can see, they have some, some good wear. I absolutely love these. And the thing about this is a, a color like this looks great with a lot. You could wear it with um, um, black. You can wear it with brown, obviously. Greens it looks great with. It looks great with navy. So um, that's why I kind of was like, I wanted to make something in, in, this, in this color because it goes so well with everything. So yeah, these, um, I will probably just put these up for sale because um, since I have those and they're a bit too narrow. So for me, since these are in 9D, I would imagine if you are a, if you're an eight and a half D, you can fit these as long as your foot is not, uh, is not wide. You should be able to fit these. So I will uh, definitely put these up for sale. Great condition. The, the soles are just, whoever had these, I'm, I'm not sure how, um, how they use them. What, what was their, what their purpose? Let's see what their purpose, but the soles are really good condition. These may have been for someone, um, they may not have worked in these, they could have been there, you know, dancing boots, uh, going out to dinner boots. So, uh, cause these are, these are old, but in really, really good condition. So if you're interested uh, in these, I will put these on my uh, website um, for sale and um, maybe you can fit them, but yeah, just really cool. And I've, I've had these for a while, but I just haven't been able to, uh, to um, really enjoy them. So someone else will be able to. So this is, um, let's see, I'll, I'll do an on feed for you. I'll, I'll squish my, <laughs> it's not, it's actually not that bad, but I'll put on a thin sock and put, put uh, my foot in them and do a little on feed for you guys. But um, yeah, let's do that right now, actually. Let's do the on feed. Okay, so here's the on feet with the Red Wing Pecos, Vintage Pecos. So I have on a very thin sock, which currently is okay. My left foot, totally fine. My right foot is squished. It feels squeezed. So that to me would be troublesome, especially walking around for a couple hours in the city. I would definitely at the end of the day have to remove these and just let my feet stretch. And that's just not good. You don't want, you don't want to have your feet squished all day. That uh, will create problems, but um, they look so good. I, I love these and I'm wearing a pair of Telesin uh, jeans. These are slim straight fit and I love the way Telesin slim straight look with boots. Just the perfect denim jean. I honestly, I haven't worn, I haven't put on jeans in I want to say like three months. <laughs> it's been a while. I don't typically wear jeans at all in the summertime. Uh, I, I try not to at all. It's just, it's just too warm and it's just not the best. It's not breathable to me. Even if you're going like with a 12 ounce, I don't care. I'd rather just wear a chino, but these, look at how cool they look. So I had these on display at the Red Wing store in Tribeca for, I want to say close to six months. They were just in the window and a lot of people came in and they were, you know, asked about them and I should have sold them uh, and let the, the guys at the store know like, hey, if someone wants to buy them because I, I know I, I had shoe trees in them the entire time they were there 
and just hoping that they would stretch a bit. And I could probably take them to a cobbler uh, and get that, that right boot stretched. But it's all right. I have, I have others, as you guys know, <laughs> that I can have someone else enjoy these. But uh, they look really cool. And I love, as I said before, I love, love, love the color with, um, with denim. I think it just complements so well. And yeah, this is what they look like, guys. <laughs> that the Kemi gum is really nice with impact. You know, a lot of my reels have uh, ins inserts. And these, um, these can handle, you know, they were made for work. And so these can handle you know, being on your feet and that stress and that walking and that, that heel hit. Um, so that's a plus for that. But for these to be as old as they are and to be in such a great condition and especially the soles, whoever is wearing these probably actually worked in a field because they weren't, you know, hitting the concrete and getting all messed up like my heels do. They actually knew how to walk. They actually know how to walk and <laughs> much better than I do because my heels get all, all crazy. But uh, yeah, here you go, guys. The Red Wing, I think these are the Red Wing 989s. That's what I think these are, pre-Super Soul. That's my, my guess after looking at everything. Um, so there you have it. Some beauties right here, vintage beauties. And if Red Wing had some sense, they would make these again exactly the same way because these are really cool. All right, so that is, uh, that's the review on the vintage pair of Red Wing Pecos. Maybe the 1474s, maybe something else, maybe the 9 something 9, I can't really tell. I've been trying to research. Uh, look, I, I, but some of the other work boots that I've seen have a, a super sole on the Pecos, the work ones. So this could be an earlier model of that version that I came across. Actually, so there's a red ring boot called the 989, which is in the work, uh, work boot, or work pull on boot, 989 with the super sole. So this could be an earlier version of the 989, and then they redid it later with putting on the super sole for more comfort, doing the super sole for more comfort. So this could be uh, that and not the 1474s, as I was thinking. Uh, I'm not sure, but it is a, this is the, it, what appears like an, the oral, oral leather, although it's very stiff. Now, is it stiff because it's old? Is it stiff because it is like the Featherstone, which is a higher quality leather? I don't know. But what it is, it's darn cool is what it is. So again, these will be uh, up for sale if someone's interested. Or I could just keep them and just have them as a, a memento on my, uh, on my uh, what, bookshelf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time with the Red Wing Pecos 1472. Be a boot. See you guys next time.